What's going on guys? It is Will YM and welcome back to a brand new video. Now this video has been requested uh, by people on my Instagram live streams. Today I'm going to be doing the Saw movies tier list. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, here it is. We got the full tier list here. And now I'm going to move my face cam here. All right, so this tier list is going to consist of nine Saw movies, including the new movie Spiral, who which uh, came out uh, last week. So yeah, uh, for those of you who don't know, I've been a pretty big fan of the Saw movies. I have the whole collection. I ended up binging uh, a few of the Saw movies that I really don't remember the plot of. So that way I'd be able to get a fair and decent ranking. And uh, yeah, so we have five tiers here. We have amazing, good, okay, meh, and sucks. So it's not like the stereotypical S, A, B, C, D, F, and all those. So yeah, we got Saw 1, Saw 2, Saw 3, Saw 4, Saw 5, Saw 6, Saw 3D, Jigsaw, and Spiral. So, before we start watching, I just want to thank all of you for the for the support on the Chucky tier list, and also that this tier list is going to be based on just my opinion. I know it probably won't match yours, so I would like to hear your rankings down in the comments below. So yeah, so the first Saw movie. A lot of people might think that this is a bit boring, and honestly, I don't really blame you. Uh, the first Saw it was kind of a bit on uh the more mystery side and uh everything and the whole bathroom game while being the main focus wasn't really the main focus there was a lot of flashbacks and everything and there wasn't really that much traps for everyone who are kind of fans on the jigsaw traps and uh everything um i liked the whole part where zep was actually a pawn of the game and not the jigsaw killer so when you first watch it, you're kind of like, is he the Jigsaw Killer or is there something else? Uh, the banter between Dr. Gordon and Adam were pretty cool as well. And, of course, the reverse bear trap, which I think is the best trap in the movie. Uh, all the other traps are easily the most forgettable of the franchise. Uh, all the other side characters, aside from Gordon, Adam, and, of course, John Kramer, uh, I really couldn't really care about. Uh, in this movie and that's another thing the final twist uh, that John Kramer or the dead body in the bathroom actually wasn't dead and was revealed to be the jigsaw killer I thought was pretty good but the traps and the memorability of the side characters and the traps uh, and the lack of kills could put I actually think it's a good saw movie a lot of people could be mad at me for not putting it at amazing but yeah Saw 2 amps up everything by like 5,000%. You got more John Kramer, you got more traps, you got more memorable characters, you got a very decent plot. Uh, yeah, definitely. There's a lot of cool and decent traps in there. For example, the Phoenix Fly Trap, the Needle Pit, um, you know, the Furnace Trap, everything like that. And uh, I liked the protagonist, uh, Detective Eric Matthews, uh, played by Donnie Wahlberg. He was a very great character. And um, the, his whole conversation with him, him and John were pretty cool as well. I liked how they kind of explained like John's motives of cherish your life, even though they might be a little hypocritical as the sequels go on. And of course, the main game where it's like the nerve gas house where there was like, I want to say about seven people in there. And they slowly start dropping like flies. Uh, and the whole thing where Eric Matthews' son is in this game. And uh, Eric has to talk to John for like a certain amount of time if he ever wants to see his son again. Which of course uh, Eric Matthews uh, was a little bit impatient about and everything. And the twist that Amanda, after surviving the reverse bear trap, uh, being John Kramer's apprentice was pretty cool. The kills were 
pretty cool as well and everything. And uh, yeah, I liked how Tobin Bell as John Kramer or the Jigsaw Killer, whatever you want to call him, rises up the plot and everything, brings more charisma and entertainment in there. So you know what? I actually think Saw 2 is actually my favorite Saw movie of all time. And yeah, I think it's an amazing movie. Definitely. I, I see little to no flaws with this movie. Aside from like character decisions, maybe. But other than that, no. Nah. Saw 3. I, I, I don't know with Saw 3. Saw 3 kind of seems like um, the whole plot is John Kramer is dying from cancer and everything. And he kidnaps a do he and Amanda kidnap a doctor named Lynn to uh, essentially fix up his brain so he doesn't really die fast or anything or die that quick. I don't know if it really cured his cancer or removed the tumor or anything. But yeah, um, Saw th and then the other plot, I liked how there were two games essentially, was uh, her husband Jeff, who was mourning the loss of, his, of uh, their son who got hit by a car uh, and died. Um, has to go through these tests with a bunch of people who had something to do. Like, for example, his son's uh, accidental killer, uh, the judge, the eyewitness and everything. And it's kind of like a test of forgiveness, which I think was pretty cool uh, and everything. Uh, the problem I really had was like at times the movie could be pretty boring and everything. Um... And how long Jeff takes to eventually save people. Like, in each and every trap, he doesn't really leave them to die. He would, like, look and see how bad the trap is. And then, like, at the very last moment, he's like, oh, okay, I'll help them. And then just won't do it. Uh, and the whole twist ending as well with um, their daughter being kidnapped. But, you know jeff killed jigsaw and everything that's another thing they killed off john kramer in the third movie but look at all the sequels we have yet to cover a lot of people do have problems with that but you know that's what flashbacks are though uh yeah again tobin bell even though his character w was pretty weak in that movie uh still tried to make it work amanda's character kind of like uh did kind of like dissolved after Saw 2. Like her character became even less. It seemed like she was less of an apprentice and more of like a a stan of Jigsaw, if you understand what I mean. Like she was obsessed with him, viewed him as a god, essentially. I didn't like Amanda's character in this movie at all. I didn't like Jeff's character. Honestly, I, I didn't really root for him. The traps, though, were pretty cool. Like the rack, which is an absolutely gore not really gory but a cringe trap but not the cringe in stupidness a cringe in pain so yeah uh if i were to decide a final ranking for it yeah i would consider saw three okay i would consider it an okay movie it's balanced it's balanced between the good and the bad and everything saw four was one of the movies that i really had to re-watch uh to kind of determine a rank for it uh it follows officer daniel rigg who's obsessed with saving people and eric matthews from the second movie and this new character named mark hoffman uh is being held captive in a room somewhere and if rigg wants to save them he's essentially gonna have to go through a series of tests about his obsession on saving people now the traps are definitely not as memorable as they were in Saw's 2 and 3. Saw really had forgetful ones. Uh and Daniel Rigg has been one of those characters that yeah, he was appearing in all the other Saw movies, but as a main protagonist, it was a character that I really didn't care about. Um and the final twist uh where Mark Hoffman was is now the newer apprentice it was kind of predictable in my opinion. And um, I did like how the events of saw three and saw four played out at the same time. But then again, the, the twist was predictable. The traps were not 
uh, memorable. And Daniel Rigg was not a protagonist that I could really uh, get behind. When it comes to traps, yeah, again, they were not memorable at all. They were absolutely forgettable. So, yeah, that was why I had to rewatch the movie because I think this movie is pretty forgettable. I don't think it sucks, but yeah, it's in the meh category. So yeah, we almost have every single Saw movie in a tier. Uh, we only have a sucks. Saw 5 is definitely at a mix of meh and sucks. I didn't even need to rewatch this to know that it sucks. It seems like some of the traps are unwinnable or just completely unfair. All the people in this game is absolutely stupid. And the whole twist of them having to work together and to uh, take away the whole survival instinct and just work together, that completely diminishes John's uh, way of thinking. The human will to survive. Like, what do you mean about that? And how the investigation aspect of this is uh, an FBI agent called Peter Strom trying to see if Mark Hoffman really is a Jigsaw apprentice. It's kind of stupid considering how from the last movie we already know that Mark Hoffman's an apprentice. So it's just a waste of time, really. So, uh, yeah, Saw 5, you know, I can't really say too much about it. Yeah, it sucks. And I know a lot of people are going to be mad at me for this, but Saw 5 is my least favorite Saw movie of all time. Now, I know a lot of you are probably going to assume, oh, he's just trying to put one movie in each tier. No, this is my genuine opinion. Saw 2 is amazing. Saw is good. Saw 3 is okay. Saw 4 is meh. And Saw 5 sucks. Yeah. Now we head into Saw 6. Saw 6, uh, I think the character of William Easton was all right. Uh, yeah, like Daniel Rigg, not really a protagonist I could really get behind. The traps were definitely more memorable in this one. The shotgun carousel uh, and the breathing room and everything. And uh, they they had this message about the hypocrisy of health systems regarding policies and not the human will to live. It kind of went back into Jigsaw's whole motto and uh, everything and how all the traps had to apply to the privacy to the policy and it's like well according to the policy this person needs to live but according to the human will to live this person needs to live and everything so yeah i liked how they tested like policy and everything and uh they had the actor of roderick in that movie where can you go wrong uh yeah um i'm gonna say for saw six I'm going to put it in the okay category because, yeah, I didn't really see much wrong with it aside from, oh, yeah, this was also the movie that Mark Hoffman was really exposed as the Jigsaw Killer because uh, in one of the traps from Saw 5, uh, it was his voice on the tape, not John Kramer's. So, yeah, he got exposed and then turned into this slasher kind of thing which kind of takes away jigsaws well no you you're not a murderer you're just testing the human will to survive well now that hoffman's doing all this it's kind of thrown out the window saw 3d trap wise saw 3d is probably one of the best saw films but that's really what it was it was not much of a plot or anything actually the only plot was this character uh named bobby dagan who was a jigs a fake jigsaw survivor um, trying to get publicity and everything from being a Jigsaw survivor. And it just seems like in this, there's no human will to survive. It seemed like in these rooms, one person had to die. Uh, and that's what a lot of people had a problem with in this movie. Yeah, definitely. And when it comes to visuals like uh, effects and the way it looked, this is the ugliest Saw movie of all time. I don't know what they were saving up for. The blood looked like a bunch of pink goo and everything. Yeah, it was definitely stupid. And the whole twist of Dr. Gordon from the first Saw being this apprentice for the like the whole time, you're kind of questioning, like, what the hell? What, why, why is this? So, yeah, I'm actually going to put Saw 3D. It's in between meh and sucks. But from traps, it kind of puts it up. So yeah, 
uh, Saw 3D is in the meh territory. Now we're at 2017's Jigsaw. Jigsaw, a lot of people have considered to be their least favorite or one of the their least favorite Saw movies. And for me, this was the first Saw movie I have really seen in the, its entirety. But when it comes to now that I've watched all the Saw movies and when it comes to the timeline, it really screws up everything. Uh, and the whole mystery of is John Kramer alive or is there an apprentice? You know there's an apprentice. There is no way John Kramer is alive after getting his throat slit. He had an autopsy and saw four. Yeah, there's no way John Kramer would be alive and everything. And the whole reveal of this doctor or surgeon that we've never seen before in any of these movies being an apprentice this whole time, at least with Dr. Gordon's reveal, it was believable. But with this guy, you just... You're just like, where the hell did he come from? Like, where was he? And everything. Uh, and the whole twist of like 10 years, they showed this game from 10 years ago. But it was shown in this. And apparently the doctor recreated the game 10 years later. And you're kind of like, well, then why are, why are we seeing this or something? And of course, at the end, when uh, it was revealed uh, that he was the apprentice, he was playing a game with someone else and he didn't get a fair chance to win even though he confessed to his crimes so you know what jigsaw actually sucks i'm gonna be honest here jigsaw actually sucks now we are going to get to the new saw movie spiral spiral from the book of saw i came into this movie with low expectations because when it comes to like spin-offs or remakes or whatever you want to call it, I went in with the lowest of the low expectations. But Spiral, because you have Chris Rock, who I wasn't even going to take seriously. Uh, and you had Samuel L. Jackson, which I guess I could kind of get behind. But mixing those two in together, I was kind of like, what the hell? So anyway, Spiral, the plot... Uh, oh yeah, before I get into the plot, spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. Uh, it follows this uh, detective named Zeke Banks, who is played by Chris Rock, and his new partner, William Shank, who's played by, man, I don't even remember the actor, but he did a good job. Uh, f trying to figure out a case of a copycat jigsaw killer. So this isn't like one of Jigsaw's apprentices or anything. This is a copycat. This is this has nothing to do with John Kramer, which I guess a lot of people have a problem with. But for me, I think it was all right. The gore was all right. Um, the plot was cool. I actually think Chris Rock did good. He mixed in his humor and he mixed in the seriousness and um, everything. Uh, the kills were definitely pretty good, and I liked how it didn't go from a trap every 10 minutes. It went back to Saw 1's roots of being a mystery type of thing, and you have to figure out who this killer is. It's not like we know who the killer is all these times. That's why I guess the, the sequels kind of fell apart and everything. They brought back the police investigation and everything and all that. And uh, Spiral is one of those spinoffs where you don't have to be a fan of the original series to enjoy one of these. Like I said, Spiral is one of those movies where you don't have to be a Saw fan to enjoy this. You don't have to look at any of the movies to know the timeline or anything. It, it was good like that. So where do I rank this? Amazing, good, okay, meh, or sucks? I don't know how controversial this list could go. But for me, Spiral is in the good territory. The reason why it's not in Amazing is definitely because the ending where Zeke's partner, William Shank, is the Jigsaw killer was predictable. Uh, I watched this movie with my mom and she's like, oh my god, it's him. But I could tell from her reaction that she definitely knew that it was him and everything. Uh, yeah, so that's going to have to do it for the Saw tier list. A bit of a recap. Saw 2 at Amazing. Saw 1 and Spiral are good. Saw 3 and Saw 6 are okay. Saw 4 and Saw 3D are meh. And Saw 5 and Jigsaw sucks. So, 
Do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments below and leave your own list down in the comments. And yeah, there's going to be a lot of Saw content moving forward. So let me know what you want me to do. I'm thinking of doing a Saw Traps tier list and a Spiral review. So which one of those do you want to see? Okay, so I love your support from the Chucky tier list. I hope you support this. And yeah, definitely more content like this. These are definitely fun to make. So this has been Will YM, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.